In this module, we're going to look at two short videos that illustrate some of the hazards associated with falling trees. It's an optional module, mainly intended for tree fallers, but anyone that walks around in the woods may find this information helpful. Michelle Rugebrink is the Occupational Health and Safety Manager on the Tahoe National Forest, and she put together this exercise. You should also review the procedural chainsaw operations and the hazard tree safety pages in your IRPG. This first short video is called Every Second Counts. Chainsaw operation and tree felling can be dangerous. The content in the following presentation is only a small portion of chainsaw safety and operation. Follow all safety guidelines, training, procedures, and job hazard analysis. Consult the Forest Service Health and Safety Code Handbook. As a sawyer, you're working under extreme conditions, low visibility, smoke, heat, stress, and long hours. It's easy to get complacent and forget two vital safety issues. First, have a primary and secondary escape route planned. And second, always know what hazards are there above you. Look up as often as it is safe to do so. Before your cutting begins, size up your work area from a distance. Know beforehand what's up there and what potentially could come crashing down on you. Walk out your escape routes as well as the lay of the tree. Remove anything in the way which could hinder your exit from the tree. Have a second escape route planned in case the first one becomes blocked or the situation changes. Don't forget, death comes from above. If you use a lookout, make sure they're a safe distance away from the tree. Always be aware for falling limbs, debris, treetops, or even the tree itself, which can fall back onto you. Don't depend on the lookout's voice or any other methods to warn you of danger. The saw motor is just too loud. Constantly look up before, during, and after your cutting. A valuable group training exercise called the Sim Limb Top Drop can really demonstrate how important the concept of looking up and using escape routes can be. The Sim Limb uses a lightweight simulated limb released from a flagpole and below with a chainsaw and its chain removed, a sawyer simulates cutting a tree. And through different warning methods, the sawyer is alerted to the falling limb and attempts to escape from underneath. By far, the best method is for the sawyer to be looking up. If you need to use your escape routes, put down the saw and use your escape route as fast as it's safe. It's up to you to always know what's going on around you and above you. So don't forget, Size up the situation before you enter the hazard area. Have an escape route and always look up. Every second counts. For more Simulim Top Drop information, access the Forest Service intranet at the website you see on the screen.